Howdy folks, how's it going? Well, what am I doing today? Today is a farewell video to the wonderful, wonderful Nissan Bluebird U12. Yes, she has found herself a new lover, a new owner, and uh, I'm very happy to say that after talking to this person for the longest time, he's a real car enthusiast. In fact, he's got an amazing W124 Mercedes-Benz, which he sent me pictures of. And uh, it's absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Makes me want to buy another, another W124, like now. <laughs> Always get tempted when I see pictures like this. So anyway, yes, the uh, Bluebird is uh, going to be heading off soon. The owner has already put it in his name and uh, has bought one year's worth of road tax and insurance already, even though I'm still driving the car, even though he has not taken delivery of the car yet. Uh, in fact, uh, to be honest, the buyer actually bought this car without even seeing it live. Only from my video, only from my videos, and from my uh, basically. Sorry, there's a there's a lorry here that's backing up. Okay, anyway, only from my videos and from the pictures which I sent to him uh, in regards to the car, he has purchased this car sight unseen. And uh, you know what? It is actually uh, the same for the uh, E39. The E39 was bought by somebody uh, in the same fashion. He has not seen the car live. Neither of these buyers have seen the car live. In fact, they've only seen it in my videos and um, subsequent pictures which, we, which, which I shared uh, via, via um, WhatsApp. I love that, you know. I love the fact that there is so much trust in uh, what I have done to the cars in so far as uh, what I've done to upgrade the cars or to you know restore them put them back there's so much trust there that they can actually buy the car sight unseen and um, I'll tell you right now for all of you who are willing to trust me enough to buy one of my weevils that way I will give you a better price than if I were to sell it outside now one thing I will never do is I am never gonna advertise my cars on online uh, whether it's uh, Facebook Marketplace or Muda or Carlist, I, I'm not going to do that because you know what? To me, these cars deserve a lot more respect. Not to say that I don't respect cars that are uh, being sold on on, uh, on various uh, social media and online platforms. No, not not to say that. But I want my cars to be special. Uh, that's why I sign each and every one of them. I want my cars to actually mean something to people who are going to buy it and uh, to to actually that they're going to appreciate. How much this how, appreciate how much the car means to me and also will mean to them eventually so yes I'll tell you now that um, I will sell my weevils the ones that are up for grabs I will I will sell them at a very very good price now of course I'm not gonna lose money by selling them what I mean is if I can recover my cost price and maybe just a little bit of profit for my uh, time you know doing up uh, which is uh, invaluable to me the time that I've spent to do up these cars, if I can get that back, a little bit of that, why not? As I said before, who I sell to is often more important than what I sell for. I want these cars to have a good home when they leave me. I want them to have um, a place where they can they can be appreciated by somebody who is a car enthusiast, who's, who knows how much passion and, and, and uh, perseverance not to mention money, has gone into these cars. And um, if I can find that, I'll be very, very happy. So yes, I'm doing one last video for the uh, Nissan Bluebird, this wonderful car which has taken me to Koh Samui and back without a hitch. I mean, this, this car just, it was just so amazing the way, the way this car handled, the way this car took that journey all in stride. It, it did it brilliantly and in, and in great comfort. I was very comfortable. These seats are just so amazing i doubt i'll ever find another car in this segment with seats this amazing i'll be honest with you these seats are more comfortable than my accord ca3 seats although those are big and you know support quite well in terms of sheer comfort butt comfort and back comfort i have not found another car as good as this so yes i got the interior all cleaned up and everything and uh, it's going to go to somebody who's good definitely appreciable definitely appreciate it and i'm very very happy about that so where am I heading now? I'm actually heading over to Jason's place. I'll do a quick walk around over there as well. I'm actually heading over to Jason's place to get uh, the whole car checked out, all the fluids, all the lubricants. Because again, the buyer is not uh, actually going to be picking up the car himself. He's getting a friend of his to actually pick up the car for him and uh, take it to him. And he's in another state. And now that uh, interstate travel is allowed, no problem whatsoever. So 
it's very likely this car will be going off in a couple of days and um, you know I'll be very happy to see it again sometime but uh, I know it's going to a good home and that makes me very very happy so um, one thing I have to, to make clear though yeah I'm not a used car dealer all right I don't actively flip cars I buy cars and then I do them up because I intend to keep them I really really do I intend to keep them and use them and like this one I used it all the way to Koh Samui and back so yes I intend to keep them and that's why no expense is spared when it comes to restoring them and refurbishing them I um, I don't I don't I don't uh, skimp I don't save you know I spend to do it up and that's why this car went off at higher than market value and uh, rightly so because it is absolutely sorted and I'm just so so amazed um, I've not driven it this is the first time I'm driving it in a few weeks actually and it just started up on one crank no problem it's just a just an amazing car I'm a, I'm a little bit uh, sad to see it go um, and I'll show you why in a little while a little while the uh, the new buyer actually since we had the time during the CMCO to the car was with me um, he paid for a for a paint job yeah a one full outside coat and Arcade did a magnificent job on this car. It looks really, really good and it drives really, really well. So let me show that to you in a little while, okay? So just a little bit of a sidetrack here. Uh, one of my good buddies just got himself a car from his dad and it kind of reminded me of the time I got my first car from my dad as well. It was a red Saga Mega Valve 1.3. And to me, it was the best car in the world. So my buddy here, he just got himself a very nice photo Suzuki Vitara from his dad who was not using the car anymore and dad's got a newer car I think so that one is just lying there and I just met him at, at a shop and uh, I could hear the excitement in his voice and uh, it kind of reminded me of exactly how I felt the first time I got my car as well so it doesn't matter what car you get whether it's this Bluebird whether it's a Saga 1.3 Mega Valve which was red uh, or whether it's a Suzuki Vitara getting your first car is always really really exciting and I'm so happy for him actually he's a cool guy so happy for him and uh, I'm gonna you know, try and advise him on how to, to uh, do up the car because even though he was interested in this Bluebird as well as my Rock and Roller SE, I'm so happy for him that he actually got himself a car finally. Uh, and it's a very nice Suzuki Vitara, it's still with the uh, the V, V, V uh, alloy wheels. If, in case you didn't know, if you look at an original Suzuki Vitara, the alloy wheels are made up of a bunch of, of, a bunch of Vs which actually stand for Vitara. So a lot of uh, owners, unfortunately, they didn't realize this, that those wheels were actually purpose-made, purpose-built uh, for the Suzuki Vitara, and then they sold them off and put bigger wheels or different design wheels or something like that. And unfortunately, now if they want to find those wheels again, it's going to be incredibly difficult, kind of like the uh, Ford Telstar, which I reviewed in um, my uh, channel here. You can scroll down and check out this uh, Ford Telstar with the uh, tic-tac-toe wheels, which I like to call them. You can't find those anymore. Even if you wanted to, you can't find those anymore. So actually, very honestly, the car has got more value with those original wheels. And it's just the same as the Vitara. It's got even the spare wheel, which is which is actually mounted on the rear hatch or the rear door, because it's a five door, is the original Vitara wheel. And why I'm making such a big deal out of it is because people don't realize how amazing that wheel actually is. It's made up of a whole bunch of Vs for Vitara. Wow, I mean, when was the last time you heard of a car being made with wheels that are matching its name? I mean, it was built, those wheels were, were, were custom made because it matches the, the name, Vitara V. Super cool. So anyway, I'm heading to my favorite spot to give you all one last look at this. Uh, I'm getting a little bit choked up at my, yes, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna let you all have a last look at my Bluebird. <laughs> Thanks, Bobby, for uh, for uh, in the previous video for actually um, giving us the translation of what that actually means. If you were, if I were to say this in uh, in Chinese, so I'm not going to. I'm just gonna leave it at English. Yes, my bro, Bobby. Thank you very much. <laughs> and so here she is, folks. One last look at my beautiful. Bluebird U12. She's going off to her new owner uh, in a couple of days time. I just wanted to show you what a magnificent paint job has been done on this car since it was taken by uh, RK a few weeks ago to do this uh, one outside coat. So yeah, the car doesn't have its uh, original paint anymore, but this is the original color for the car when it was brand spanking new. Oh, it feels so good. I mean, RK did a really, really nice job on this car. Beautiful absolutely beautiful so just one last walk around 
of the U12 before it goes to its new owner who is uh, exceptionally excited to be getting this car and I'm, and I'm excited for him. I'm excited to actually pass this car to him because um, I've done it up to the best of my ability and uh, yeah, she's looking magnificent. She really is. I love the design. I, I mean, you know, I just absolutely adore this low slung uh, four box design. So beautiful. What a magnificent looking car. And this car actually drove me all the way to Koh Samui and back. And uh, it, was, it was wonderful. It was absolutely faultless during that time. Very, very impressed. I'm gonna give you an aerial view of the car before I, before I sign off. What I'm doing now is I'm actually extending the GoPro uh, holder so that it becomes like a, there we go. So yeah, an absolutely beautiful car. Those are cornering lights in case you all forgot. Uh, at night with the headlights on, if you indicate left or right, those will light up and uh, actually show you where you're turning into. Uh, this is the early version of active bending lights. Now the actual headlights will turn inside their, inside their housing to actually show you where you're going. But this was an actual external light to show you where you're going. Look at that profile. Oh man. Isn't that gorgeous? So yeah, for those of you who are uh, gonna get your car inspected at Puspakom, remember to remove the uh, front tint as well as the windshield tint. You can leave the back on, no problem. This car went through Puspakom and passed with flying colors. Turned quite a few heads at Puspakom as well, I have to admit. But there she is. I'm gonna miss this car. I I'll be straight up with you, I'm gonna miss this car. It's, uh, it's an amazing, amazing car. This took a while to find, but I finally got it. And this 1.8 came from something else. The SE Saloon was original with the car. And of course, Lucky Car Interior did the, the inside. And look how clean that is. It's gorgeous. Can you imagine how old this car is? It still has an interior like this. Look at that. And these, honestly, like I said earlier, these are the most comfortable seats I've ever been in. In any car, in this, uh, in this class or in this category or, you know, from this year. Amazing. This is worth its weight in gold. Literally worth its weight in gold. So that's why I didn't stick it outside. Itchy fingers, you know. Itchy fingers are the devil's playground. But there she is. And let's have one last look at what's under the bonnet. I tell you, this is one of the best engines that Nissan has ever made. Along with the uh, B13 Sentra, which I just got. This 1.8 engine, smooth, fuel efficient. Quite, quite amazing. And there she is, the heart of the U12. Quite an amazing engine actually, really. I have, I'm speechless when it comes to this engine. It's so good on gas. Uh, it, it, it runs cool, it runs smooth. Old school, yes, carbureted. But still starts up every single time without fail. And very heavy bonnet to keep that weight in the front over the front wheels. Because yes, this car is a front wheel drive. Oh man. I'm gonna miss this design, but you know what? I have a few more in my stable, a couple more of the Weevils that uh, have this design, which I adore from cars of the 80s. So amazing. So, okay, goodbye, girl. Thank you so much for the memories. Thank you so much for taking me to Koh Samui and back safely. You have been a magnificent car, and I really do hope you enjoy your new home. I'm gonna miss you. Take care. Okay, y'all, thanks for watching. Bye.